to visit the casual athlete here to debrief you on the fantasy implications of last night eels and seagulls game a couple of key takeaways here one for me is tommy turbo is back clear your salary cap get him in your team's asap he look good uh two tries two tries to 190 to 200 meters and 75 fantasy points he's still priced in the low 600 so get him in while he's cheap a couple of things why uh Really got me excited about Turbo last night is that man looks like they're going to be an attacking team this year. They're not going to be able to grind out teams with their defense. They're going to have to score a lot of points. So that means Turbo, Turbo, Turbo with the with ball in his hands. And uh, how good was Josh Schuster? He was dancing at the line, a lot of late passes. He created a lot of space for Turbo. Now, I'm not just sure if it's the really poor fringe defense from the Eels, probably a mix of both, but that really created a lot of space for him. So I'm expecting a return to the mid-50s to you know low low 50s average for turbo this year i'm not expecting him to do anything like 2021 where he averaged 75 to 80 points but he's still going to be a top tier gun fullback and he's had his buy and he's pretty cheap still for his potential so get him in your team uh the other key fantasy implication was jermaine hopkood coming back down to earth with only a 35 i think people are panicking because they captained him well relax i'm pretty sure 80 90 percent of people captained him this week um you know some others might have gone ground cook but what can you do Look, this is probably a flash in the pan. He spent most of his time waiting under the goalposts because uh, there were so many tries scored. I want to captain him next week. I just think he'll come out against the Panthers and probably put another 70, 80 points against his old team. Um, so stick with him. It's been a tough few weeks for captaincy options. Clear was garbage last week. Oh, good garbage this week. Uh, we told you that uh, Cherry Evans is a bit of a trap if you moved around your team to get him in. Uh, only with the mid-30 score this week. Now, if you've got Cherry Evans, it's a great buy. But again, we preface that Cherry Evans is a good buy, but don't blow up your team to get him in. And this is an example why. Like, you have 90-point games, you have 30-point games. People aren't just going to score 80, 90 every week. Like, those kind of seasons are extremely rare. They happen once or twice in a blue moon. So if you've got Cherry Evans, don't panic. If you don't have Cherry Evans, don't panic. He's going to average 60 this year. He's going to have 60-point games, 30-point games, 90-point games. Guaranteed, he'll be in that 55 to 65 average this year. Um, and a couple of other big in- injuries. Uh, well, Matt Dury, they're suspecting that he's injured his old... Um, well, he's re-injured the knee that had his old ACL injury last year. So uh, no real updates there. So keep an eye on that. I know he's a very popular pick. He looked pretty decent last night with the ball in his hand. He crashed over for a try, but still only managed 30 points. He missed a lot of key tackles. Um, his defense does need work. And then his edge back row partner, Cardi, got through a bunch of work again with 45. Now, if there's one, yeah, I don't really want to say this, but the potential positive out of Jury's injury is that gives Cardi the 80 minute back row roll for a few more weeks till Lane gets back, um, even if Madison slots into the edge. So extends his shelf life, but we don't want to see it. I think most people have Jury anyway. Hopefully it was just a stinger or not too serious, and at max he misses a couple of weeks. Um, gun young player, and you, you don't want to see injuries on anyone. But uh, yeah, they're the key fantasy implications from last night's game. If you've got any other thoughts or anything you want us to cover, leave a comment below. Otherwise, like, um, follow, and subscribe to Casual Athlete. Peace.